don't know what you got until it's gone. Until it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Uh. I'm just cut from a different cloth. Hey, right now we're here with WSTU. It's your boy Joel Santana. And right now you tuned in to Inside the Inside the Inside Still got the white, Macklemore. Car seat smelling like I just ripped the packaging off. Run down on me in traffic, I'm back in the morph. Yo, it's your boy Monty, aka the Young Dragon. We're here with Inside the Industry TV. Clarkland University, Joel Santana's gonna pull up. It's gonna be lit. Make sure you keep it. Get with the scene. Everything is about to be live right now, man. Instagram live, Snapchat, all that stuff, man. We need y'all to get y'all cameras out. Make sure you tag everything. WST Radio, WST Radio Station on Instagram. Man, it's going down. So I need everybody to get live because Juel Santana's in the building. Sometimes we artists at the end of the day we come in this this thing as artists as you know what I mean, a talent, so we don't we don't pay as much attention to the business, you know what I mean, at, at the earlier stages, I think as we should. You know what I'm saying? Me, I was coming off the streets and just right into you know what I mean, getting a big check and you know what I mean? So it was like I I I really didn't look over the contract or anything probably the way I I supposed to, you know, you should definitely get a lawyer. You know, somebody that's above, you know, a higher power that can, you know what I mean, read these type of contracts and explain to you your whole situation. And your lawyer should always be in, in, in the, the best situation for you. You know what I mean? You shouldn't have a lawyer that's just trying to get a check, just read through a right. contract and just try to, you know, you got lawyers out there too that just read your contract and tell you, oh, yeah, it's a good contract and just so they can get their low 5%. Mm -hmm. So definitely want to find some good people that's in your corner. And you know that's really want to see you win and just be mindful that it's a music business so you know it's 85 percent business and you know the music the music is you know that's the platform to get out you know the fans but you don't want to be a superstar with no money mm -hmm. it's a lot of them out there man you got a lot of people that's not so so big but they have a lot more money because they handle their business yeah. right so you know it's all about handling your business and, and you know staying on top of things and making sure things are taken care of that's that's definitely what I would tell a younger me. You know what I'm saying? And just learning the game. Only advice to anybody now, we have rappers, personalities, producers, mm -hmm. uh, people who do T V film, designers and all type of stuff in this room. But the advice to the people who have a craft for initial things, uh, of course we're going to the, the intro. If you have something and you know it's real, take that shot. Now what's your advice to the people? How would they know if it's real or not? Whatever they're doing, how would they know it's real? Of course, uh, monetizing it, you're making money, but how do you know this is real? Like for any rapper, how do they know what they got is real? 
any designer. Like as far as they they talent? Got real. You mean as far as the specific talent? Yeah, anything like I mean honestly, it just as much as it's about talent, I'ma tell you the truth. Hard work beats talent. Mm -hmm. So you could outwork somebody that's, you know, has a God given talent if they don't, you know what I mean? Use that God given talent to the best of their ability. So I watched a lot of artists come up that wasn't, you know, as strong as they were and, you know, get have dope careers because they just kept going and they, they believed in themselves and they just was like, you know, kept pushing it on people and, you know, it's like, yeah, it's kind of hot now. So it's, it's, you know, just keep pushing. People will fall in line. You know what I'm saying? But I've been trend setting out here doing a lot of different things for a minute. So, you know, anything you're trying to do, you just got to believe in yourself and believe you can make it happen and, 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 and go for it and, you know, apply, apply, you know, have a plan and, and execute. Execution is definitely something that has to get done, though. If you have a plan, you got to execute it or get some people in the corner that can help you execute the things that you want to, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, get out there. Because you could have some bunch of stuff in your brain and it's just sitting there, like, you know what I mean? If you can't, if you're not the type of go, go get it person and you need a person like that in your corner that's going, you know, do it while you just being that brain creator that you, you are. It's easy. It's always easy to give away. So you know, I just wanted to um, do something with some of the newer, young, young, younger kids that was coming up that I liked, that I was looking at. You know, for me and Wayne to do something, that's that's kind of natural now. That's like my bro. I could just yeah. I could call him up tonight and send him something or fly out to Miami or LA wherever he's at, and we could we could make something dope. So that's definitely gonna happen. Okay. Definitely gonna hear a song. A lot of people want to know about the actual whole project we was working on before. I can't feel my face thing, yeah. so maybe you had to come out. I don't like talking about it because we've been promoting it and doing it for so long. A lot of politics, you know what I mean, you're in this industry. Yeah. So if it happens, it happens, but we still got We maintained a good relationship and not get caught up in the politics yeah. of, all right, damn, this music can't can come out, the so we ain't let that put a strain on our relationship. So that's the dope thing about that. At the time, I was at Def Jam, none of the people it's like you're going to school right now. None of these people are going to be here after a certain amount of time. So you might feel like if you're still here in eight years, like it's mm -hmm. not going to seem like the same. Mm -hmm. But it's kind of like how it was for Def Jam with me. All the people that were there when I signed my contract and I got introduced to that pushed my records and was up there had kind of left the building. And it was just a bunch of new people that, you know, right. I, I, it got to the point to where I understood the game myself. I just needed to get some good people in my corner and we could, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It's kind of easier to be the label yourself now. You don't really need these big labels. You know, to me, the, that's just a hype thing now. Like to be signed to a big label, that's really just for you to say, "Or oh, I'm signed to a label." Mm -hmm. Labels don't do nothing really no more. They pick up the pieces from what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So if you sign to a label right now, if you get signed to a label and you just stop working because you think the label won't do nothing, you're gonna get dropped in a couple months. I promise you that. Right now, labels are just picking up. They see an artist, they see the talent you got, and they see what you're doing, so they just want in on it at the end of the day. So they're going to sign you, and then they're going to wait for you to keep working, and then once you got a good record, they're going to pick up and act like they did everything. You know what I mean? So, you know, whatever. So speaking of yeah, You have to do that, you know what I mean? If that's the route you want to take, you know, so they give out a lot of money. So it's, it's, everything is not for everybody, too. You got to figure out what path you want to take in life. Everything don't work for everybody, you know what I'm saying? So you got to kind of understand yourself. It's a good thing to know yourself. Some people, some of y'all might need to spend some time just learning yourself. That's what I had to do for a minute. You know, it's not an easy thing to do. You might feel like you know yourself, but you don't really know yourself. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of hard to, I mean, figure out who you are and what you want and what you want to get out of these things, mm -hmm. especially in life. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, we're going to be here for a long time. You want to you want to secure the bag, secure the future for the family, for everybody, your kids, you know, you know what I mean? Your, your people, you know I mean? Just even if it's just... You know what I mean? We come from, a lot of us come from nothing. Yeah, I'm just working right now. I don't want to tell nobody what the name of my brand is because I just want to put it out there and I want the brand to speak for itself. You know what I'm saying? I want people to just love the brand, not love it because it's a Joel Santana brand. I want them to love it. So, you know, y'all will probably not even know it's my brand. And, you know what I mean? That's how I'm doing it this time around. Like, before I had the slow box, it was kind of like attached to our name. This time I kind of just want to, want to put it out there and kind of, Play the back and let it do what it's gonna do. Make you know what I mean, and just let it be fashion, not be driven by the the, the just you know entertainers wearing it. I want it to you know really matter in the fashion world. So at the end of the day, that's how I'm trying to do it this time around. But it's it's, it's coming along. It's good. Got some things. You know what I mean.
How much money and time does this take into this? Oh, no, it definitely it takes, you know, it, it, it takes a lot of just hard work and dedication. Mm -hmm. it, always money, but, you know, you can get around that sometimes. I mean, you definitely need money to extend. It's definitely good, good. Could, could become a factor where it's like, you know, you can't get things done because you don't have the, the, the right funds. You know, I mean, just that, that's just a life thing. But at the time, you're learning lessons, you're still getting better at your craft as long as you keep working at it. So that's the good thing about that. And, you know, like I said, keep going hard. That could just be God testing you to see if you really want it as bad as, you know, because when you give it to you, you're going to give it to you. You know what I'm saying? So you want to know you're going to be able to handle it and, you know what I mean, accept it in the right Frame, form, and fashion. First and foremost, one thing you all see oh, coming yeah. out. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, Y'all make sure y'all hashtag everything WSC Radio. Tag Joel Santana with yeah. the photos, Instagram, Snapchat, all that good stuff. Y'all make sure y'all get that. Y'all ain't follow me. Follow me, Joel Santana. Get back. Teams like Santana, we wet with it. Back like cook crack. Y'all done gave too many bad fixes. Looking at my rollie, it's about that time, yo. Extend the clip, how you whip, jumping like potholes. Yo, I'm the main event, you the side show. Time's up, my goal. Hit him with the young my flow. I think these niggas think I lost my mojo. No, I think it's time I let these niggas know so. They can't.